Hello everybody, <coughs> it's your old pal Jim here in beautiful Upper East Tennessee. Hope everybody's having a good week. Uh, not feeling real good today, but I'll get through it. I believe I might have caught a little bug or something. So anywho, today I wanted to talk about, and the name of the video is going to be Sleepy Joe's Sleepy Sleeper Cells. I saw a lot of talk about this, and I've been thinking about it for about a year now. About if something ever happened, what would happen? Uh, you know, a war break out in the Middle East, which is always a possibility because that region is very volatile. What would happen here? Well, we all know that uh, our southern border has been wide open the past three years, and I don't blame just Democrats for this. I blame Republicans too because when the Trump took office, we had to house them, or they had to house in the Senate, and they, they, they didn't do jack squat. Border wall could have been done then, but no, because the way I look at it, the Democrats like them for the votes, and Republicans like the Koch brothers and people like that like cheap labor. So this is a uniparty problem, not just a but it's got a lot worse since uh, Sleepy Joe took office. So they've caught, you saw the statistics, I can't remember off the top of my head how many people, I think just last month, 200 some, <coughs> excuse me, on the terror watch list. That's in a month. How many you think has got, got away? So if you don't think uh, that, that they will be activated, if uh, Israel goes ahead and does their ground invasion of Gaza, which I'm shocked that it hadn't had happened later, but my thoughts on that are we're holding them off till we get more assets moving into that area. So when that kicks off, you better better watch out, especially if you live on, along a in a border state, California, Texas, Arizona, New Mexico. And they could be who knows where. Like they'll admit they don't know how many people have came in and they have no idea where they're at. So when you're out and about, you better be aware of your surroundings. When you go to a place, check your exits. Check things that maybe you could take shelter behind. But I'm being serious. So just watch your rear end when you're out. Even when you're at home, you better have something real handy to defend yourself and I'm not going to talk about what happened last night except say it was a tragedy uh, all those people lost their lives needlessly and the dude had made threats as to my understanding and nothing was done so just a sad situation but uh, taking my self-defense tools away ain't going to make my neighbors safer. It's going to make them less safe. So I'm not giving jack squat up willingly. Just put it there and leave it alone. So prepping-wise, uh, just uh, I did put some stuff away yesterday before work. Hadn't been to the store to add to the preps. It's, but I'll probably go tomorrow if I feel better. Just keep doing what you're doing and raise your situational awareness <clears throat> if you're out and about keep your nose out of your cell phone uh, pay attention to what's going on around you and keep uh, your head out of your rear end and just be extra vigilant still offering the uh, first aid kits for sale 175 bucks I think it's a pretty good little kit I'll show you a picture of it with my Halloween candy. So it's got all kinds of goodies in there. It's got the cat tourniquet and all kinds of stuff, Israeli bandages, stuff for uh, burn dressings, gauze, tape, chest seal. So, and uh, Jace Medical's offering $15 off this month or through the end of the month through Halloween. Use a uh, Promotion code Prepper Scare P R E P P E R S C A R E at checkout to get fifteen bucks off. 
I highly recommend having a Jace case. I have two myself. So, and uh, just to show you that I'm not completely full of it, right here behind my door, if you can see it, my American flag got tore up in the spring. I need to do something with it. But there's my 12 gauge in my pocket. I have that. And I keep my long, long pew pews locked up. I may actually start getting one of those out and having it real close to. So just be extra vigilant. Keep prepping. Keep praying for our country because we're in them. We're in bad shape. I don't think we have the resources or the manpower to do a two war front and it could explode into a three three front war if uh, it pops off in the uh, South China Sea. So just keep aware of the news. Don't obsess about it. Uh, there's a lot of good channels out there that puts out really good information a lot better than I do. I suggest checking out NY Prepper and some other channels. Everybody has their own uh, cup of tea, what they like to watch. So y'all have a wonderful day, a blessed day. Let's go Vols, let's go Brandon FJB. And remember folks, don't be scared, be prepared. And I'm not saying that anyone you see a Middle Eastern heritage is necessarily a terrorist. I'm not saying that at all. There's a lot of good people over there that would like to live their lives in peace just like we would. But just be aware of your situation, your surroundings when you're out and about. Check for exits if you're in a, in a grocery store and stuff like that. So y'all take care. Talk to you later, friends and neighbors.